Whew. It is hot. My camera's overheating. Got to keep it in the water. Might have to switch to 4K instead of the 5.3. All right, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to uh, fly fish and nymph small creeks. We're probably not gonna catch anything, but uh, maybe you'll learn something. So there's a, a few different things that I look for. Obviously, number one, you find a, wanna find a nice big deep pool. It's hard to find one that's not a swimming hole now, but this is a big deep pool, right? So now, we have the challenge of trying to get down to where the fish are or where the fish would be. You can see, right? There's some salmon eggs on here. If I was bait fishing today, that would be my go-to. Right, and I guarantee you there's fish in here. Can I get to them? Probably not. Sorry, little bees. Just stand here and see if I can see any swimming around. It's probably too deep for me to fish. But I'm gonna try it. Hopefully not get stung in the process. Okay, first thing I wanna do, I'm gonna raise up my indicator a bit. Pretty much as far as I can go up to that next segment. I'll tip it. Me being the amazing genius that I am, I'm fishing with a seven foot three two weight. I'm trying to get out there as far as I can and then just kind of high stick it in the run. And this is kind of, uh, you know, the, I don't know, the, the main way of fishing these creeks. So if you can cast, you cast. Otherwise, it's not much flow to load it in the water behind you. Um, we can get it here. We can try our roll cast. But again, with such a lightweight rod, it's really hard to get as far as I want to go. Might need to throw a split shot on here, and that's always an option. But I think the best option here is just to move on up. We'll find some of these deeper runs under the trees. All right, next spot, not as deep, so I'm changing my indicator. I do like these little slip indicators instead of uh, the thingamabobbers here, because they're a lot easier to adjust, especially on this, you know, smaller 6X tippet. Um, but you can see what I'm dealing with here. It's a nice run. feel like I've seen some shadows here, but it could just be messing with me. All right, let's try to get over there a little farther. Slow drift. All right, come back up and do that run again. Time a little a little closer, a little more in the middle. All right, I've gone through that run probably 20 times or so. so we're gonna move on and try a new one. I might switch out my fly, maybe put something on it a little more, a little buggier. We got a lot of terrestrials out, maybe throw something on with legs. Uh, we'll see. If you are familiar with this place and you keep thinking, you know you see things in and out of order it's because in between you know fishing spots i'm running back and checking on my wife and kids uh, that are just back hanging out you know playing in the water so it's a day in the life this is what it looks like most of the time and uh you know some behind the scenes but it's good for my cardio and uh couple of those extra LBs I've been packing on from all those barbecue review videos people started comments and making fun of me hurt my feelings so anyway 
Back to it. All right, here we are. We're back. Try to sneak in here. All right. And that's just kind of how it is. You go through each run, you get there, you get there, you get there, you get where you want, you decide there's no fish there, and then we move on. So I'm just gonna keep moving, moving forward. Maybe I am, I'm gonna switch flies. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, I tied on this red Pertagon. Clean it up here a little bit. A little heavier. Should sink a little faster. Moving up, gonna get some of this foamy stuff. There we go. Nice little brown. Look at that guy. 